Hey, what's up, baby people? Crazy Hot Boy E here at the Ish for Admiral coming to you with another video. And today I got another coin maker for you guys. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button and leave a like on the video. Now, let's go ahead, hop right into it, boys. So today, you want to get on this early if you can. Um, if we come look at it here, we finally got new content, boys. 92 overall plus rising star players going for 17,000 training. Um, so how it pretty much breaks down, guys, you want to pull all the new cards. If you get training cheap enough and you pull the good cards, you'll be in a good spot. Now, let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about training cheap enough. So if we look at it here, let's look at our newest ones. 100,000. 100,000, 100,000, 102,000. That's literally what I bought my training for, and I had some leftover training in the binder. So I spent about 400K to make this as profitable as possible for me. Um, but if we come over here to programs and we go to Rising Stars and we look at the old cards, the old cards are only be break even and more profitable if you pull. Um, Justin Jefferson. So let's look at the 92, 93s right quick. And maybe Antoine Woodfield as well, too. Uh, so if you look at it here, these these Ottawa OE 58, AJ Terrell 63, AJ Dillon 64, those are not it. Uh, even Justin Jefferson is down to 83. And Antoine Woodfield is also at, um, look at that, 93. So, I mean, that's not the greatest if you pull those either. But if you pull these 94s, this is where you're making your profit at. So 130 for Bates, 130 for Warner, that's a new car. 166 for Amon Ross, so that's a dub. 170 for Javante Williams. And 175 for Christian Bolton. So all new cards are dub, dub, dub. So we at least want to pull five new cards or four new cards, and we will be in a super, super good spot. So. Let's go ahead, browse the store again. We got 103,000 training. That's enough to open up exactly six packs. And let's see here. We do got a new platinum bundle. All right, so people might start having some more coins. So we'll see how that affects the market. Let's come back over here to training, though, and open up our six packs and tally up our profit to see what we get, boys. So first pack in, rising star. We get a 93. All right, so, I mean, out of the out of the old ones, that's probably the best one that we can pull. That's the only 93. Uh, but we still don't want any old ones. We want the new ones. Another old one, a 92 Quiddy. Oh, my God. So, we start off getting two old ones right away. Um, I am opening this up a little, like, 20 minutes later instead of right away. There we go. We finally get our first new one. We get a 94. Amon Ross St. Brown. All right, so that's a W. Finally, our first W. If we can get all Ws from here on out, I'll be super happy. Next one here, another 92 Odaf. Oh, my gosh. They're just going to do me dirty. They gave me three old cards and only one new card so far. We at least needed, like, four new cards. A 94 Warner, get that trash out of here. And we're left for one more. Pack, can we at least clutch it out with three new rising stars instead of just two? A 92 Justin Jefferson. Jesus Christ. All right, so, boys, you guys seen it here first. Um, I don't even think we made any coins off this. We might have broke even. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, so let's go back here. New rising stars. Definitely not lit right now. Let's go ahead and go over to our binder. That was out of all the pack openings on Wildcard Wednesday. That has literally been the worst pack opening of all of these. That has definitely been the worst one. So let's go ahead and count it up. See how much we made here. We got an Antoine Winfield. He's going for 80,000 coins. All right. Next one we'll check out is Quiddy Pay, I guess. We'll check him out. What is he going for? 120,000 coins? Is he really going for 120? Let's, um, let's double check that. Because if that's going for 120, it actually might be a W. Nah, he's selling for about 60,000 coins. All right, so we'll just put 80 there as well, too. 
So that's going for 80. Uh, ODAF OE is going for 66,000 coins. So that's an L as well, too. So three L's right away. Actually, we got we got four L's because we got Justin Jefferson as well, too. Uh, this is going for 90,000 coins. All right, looks like we still might make some profit, though, actually. Just because we got our training for cheap enough. The next one, Pete Warner. He is going for... Definitely not putting up for 123. The next one up is 160. We'll probably put ours up for 150. All right. So that actually turns us profitable right there. And then the last one, Amon Ross St. Brown. He is going for 150,000 coins as well, too. All right. So 616,000 coins. If we look at what we spent, if we would have got training for the average price training is now, which is about 5.5, after tax, we definitely would just break even. But since I got training a lot, lot cheaper um, after tax, if we look at it, we still made 130, 135, 140,000 coins of profit. So not bad. So that could have been a lot, lot better if we would have pulled, say, four new cards. Um, but that's just the ratio taken. I opened up my packs a little bit later, about 20 minutes after they came out. So that could possibly be it instead of opening up right, right, right away. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but it looks like it does. It did affect my pack opening because usually I open it up right away. So would I do the Rising Stars 92 plus? Probably not. If I had to recommend it to you guys, I would stay away from it. Just because training is up right now, and it's not necessarily super up. Um, training is going for about five coins, six coins per. And when you get training for that price, and you're rolling a card, and you can pull a card that's way under six coins per, um, I don't really know if that's worth it because you got to look at it here. If you pull a 94, these are already going for 112,000 coins. But let's go ahead and see if we can get lower than that. Yeah, these are still going for 112. Uh, quarterbacks, what are these going for? Uh, 116, yeah. So training is even going up right now. So these cards may actually shoot up a little in buyers. So if you got training, it may be worth it to pull some. But if you don't got training, save your stack, my boys. All right, so new Tom Brady should be in packs today. They said Tom Brady 99 overall was going to be in packs. The 97 was going to be in packs. I don't actually see him yet. Um, but if he is, if he does get in packs, I will be opening up a bundle and pull for the GOAT 99 Tom Brady. But until then, thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you later. Peace out, my Gs.